Good afternoon, we are so glad you're here. We vlog every day, so if you like this video, we hope that you will return tomorrow. So you might hear a couple of noises going on. I turned on the heat. It was like in the 60s in our apartment. It is in the 40s outside. Um, it's just really, really chilly. So the heat is kind of making a weird noise because we don't ever, this is the first time I've ever put it on. And then the other noise is my veggies cooking for my chili. This is the first time I'm making chili in this new pot. Um, got all kinds of veggies in there. Onions, garlic, zucchini, mushrooms, carrots. And then for the first time, I'm actually gonna put quinoa in. This is going way off from my like traditional chili recipe. And then you also might have heard Evie snacking because she's been getting all the veggies in her bowl for a little treat. So I'm just adding some vegetable broth. This way the carrots will cook down a little bit more. Um, I think I'm gonna make this chili more beany than tomato-y. Um, the quinoa is done, so I'll add that soon. So to start, I just had salt, pepper, and garlic on the veggies. I added in the quinoa, um, and then I just added like two tablespoons of chili powder. I'm gonna let this cook for a while while I finish getting the vlog up. It is like 4.15. I just have not felt well today, mentally, but mostly, mostly because of a headache. Um, and so yeah, I just kind of been like lagging today. So hopefully I'll just get that up soon. Then I won't have to worry about it anymore. Alrighty, the beans are in. I put in four cans. I want a lot so that I don't have to cook the rest of the week, to be honest. Um, four cans of beans with the chili sauce. And then I just added some paprika, um, a little bit more chili powder, and red pepper flakes. Actually, I'm about to add some hot sauce too. Then before I'm going to add in tomatoes, I'm just going to let that boil. So like let it cook enough so that it gets hot and cooks up all the flavors on its own and then add the tomatoes. Okay, tomatoes are in. I did two cans. I added oregano, some fresh cilantro, more salt, more pepper. I'm gonna add some more garlic. It really just like doesn't have a ton of flavor. So I'm hoping this like kicks it up a little bit, but I'm gonna have to add in some more seasonings to give it a little kick because it's kind of just blah right now. Okay, I think I figured out the flavor trick for the chili. I added some green dragon sauce that's from Trader Joe's. I added tahini, which I've been obsessed with lately. It gives it such a good like lime with a little bit of heat kick to it. Um, more garlic, more chili powder. There's something else I added. I don't know, maybe that was it. The tomatoes I used were fire roasted tomatoes and now that they've been sitting in there a little longer, it tastes a bit better. Um, but now it has more of a spunky taste. So I'm really happy with it. It is, um, it is a little bit less thick than I'd like. So I am just gonna cook it until Peter gets home. Looks much better. It is starting to boil. I'm gonna let it bubble a little bit longer before I set it to simmer just so it really gets cooking. It is so much thicker below. I don't know if I'm crazy about the quinoa in it. It doesn't have like that much flavor, just soaks up what it has like around it, but I haven't done that before. Um, but that is just a really good source of protein for us. So I don't know, looks colorful, looks fresh, looks yummy. Um, so I'm gonna turn it down right now. It's just, it's just the whole time has been on medium heat. So I'll just knock it down to low once it bubbles a bit more. Also, in our case, if you're not having any meat, it is nice to have like something that is a little bit more substance to it than just the beans and the tomatoes. So for all you veggies out there, I hope you like this little quinoa chili recipe. Let me know if you've ever made chili with quinoa before and if you have any recipes that you'd like to share with me in the comments below. This doggy has been comfy here for most of the day. I think she's still mad at me about the haircut. All right, I don't know if Sarah introed yet, but today is gonna be a home vlog. It's a bit of a rougher day today, 
and we've been kind of go go going so that's why we figured we're gonna relax stay home but what have we been meaning to do we, we have been talking for a couple of days for about two weeks now about doing kind of like an update video but i want to make it fun rather than just sit down and let's like list off who sarah is who peter is and what we do here on the brookhart project so i don't even sarah doesn't even know i started this so i gotta get home and figure that out well isn't he just the sweetest hey she's mad because i got back i got french fries and i'm in a winter coat yeah she's mad because of the winter coat yeah i texted peter not even that long ago i just want a million french fries and look at this hey you're a doggy you're a doggy you can't need french fries you're a doggy are we staying home, Peter, Brian, Rookhart? Yeah, we're gonna stay home. We're gonna try to watch the marriage story on Netflix. Yeah. And we're gonna give you guys little pe bits and pieces of who we are. Well, that's the thing is like, we haven't done like, I don't wanna say like an about us, but like just in a lot of, in a long time, like we haven't like talked about ourselves and like maybe we have some new subscribers here who don't know a lot about us. So we thought we'd let you know a little bit about or some people who haven't been around super long, who haven't seen us going swimming to know that like, I had scoliosis surgery in high school. I have two titanium rods in my back. Yeah, we already showed that. We're vegan with my little cooking segment. Oh, you did a cooking segment? I did. Sweet. Yeah, um, and we have been since like last Easter. So like- March 29th. Coming up on a year, so get ready. We have a dog named Eve, she's super cute. She's trying to get comfy right now, but she's having a hard time with her haircut. What are you doing? She's, <laughs> that was weird. I feel like a lot of people know our channel because we go to Disney World a lot. That's like our big thing, but we are a daily channel, not a Disney channel. We are a daily channel. We just happen to go to Disney World a lot. And a lot of times at home, we're watching videos like this. So this is a, a video by T Tyler Babin. Mm -hmm. who used to be the filmer for one of my favorite people, Gary V. Yeah. And he is following along Sarah Dietschy, who does a whole different kind of creative stuff on YouTube, but is mostly known for her reviews of tech. Mm -hmm. And this is my almost three-year-old pup Eve. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like we watch these types of channels and then we're inspired to not be Disney vloggers. I mean, we're always going to love Disney no matter what, but I wouldn't be surprised if our channel changes. I mean, I think it's already changed. I think it's already changed and it's gonna continue changing. That's why we're a daily vlog, we're not a Disney vlog. It's gonna change a lot when we have our family and our little babies. Yeah. It's gonna change a lot when we start investing in more lenses for our cameras. Yeah. So we can get some crazy artsy shots of this pub but waking we'll, up in the morning. But we'll for sure put links to some of our favorite non-Disney YouTube creators in the description of this video. Did you guys realize my crazy outfit? It's not too crazy. It's so comfy. Because <laughs> it is colder here in Florida than I put the heat the on. Country. Can you feel the heat? I can, yeah. But it feels yeah. good. I accidentally put it on too high today and I was cooking myself. <laughs> Just a quick Instagram live. An introduction, really, in a while. Um, so, yeah, we wanted to show you this. Also, for the vlog, we typically go live on YouTube on Sundays now. We've started with the new year. Our little doggy is gonna need attention. Um, but we're gonna try and do more Instagram lives on days we stay home. And Facebook lives. I kinda wanna do Facebook lives because you guys know we're almost at a thousand people in our Facebook discussion group. I love that group so much because you guys are so interactive and we get to interact directly with you. And that's what I love. So uh, for, the, for the vlog, check out our Facebook discussion group. So we moved here from Chicago about two and a half years ago to just try this new chapter in our life to take advantage of our age and what we were doing. I have to open the door because Eve's gonna freak out. Sorry, Eve. We just wanna take advantage of this time in our life where we wanted to like, we knew that if we didn't ever try to move to Florida and live near Disney World and, and do what we do, that we would always wonder what if. So we, two and a half years ago, took the plunge and moved down here. Funny thing about that move is, we took like a 25 foot might even been a 29 foot. It was like the second largest U-Haul truck to move all of our stuff down here. Just me, Sarah, and our dog, Eve. Well, about a year, about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago now, we went to like, not to be minimalist, but we're calling it simplest, and we downsized a lot. And when we moved from our first apartment down here to this one that we moved into three, three months ago, we only needed a 20 foot truck, and we probably could have been fine with a 15 foot truck. That 25 foot truck we brought down here was packed absolutely packed to the brim so we cut out 
more than 10, well more than 10 cubic feet of stuff that we were able to donate, sell, or give away, or trash. But like, check it out. Literally almost all my clothes, and it's really broken down into like work stuff, some t-shirts, and I've got like five running shirts in my dressers. Besides that, that's like all of this right here are my clothes, like my tops. Also, over here, because I'm a runner, I got all of my running stuff in here. I've got salt tablets, different kind of drinks. These are Sarah's Bells that she cheers with. Here's my marathon ears, ACS towel, and don't be mad at everybody, but this is where I keep all my medals because we have nowhere to display them right now. Boxo medals. And for all the people who have been around for a while, the fanny pack. One other important thing you should know about us is we love old movies, especially ones that we watch with my mom and that the Earhart's also like. We also have AMC A-list, so we go to the movies a lot. Um, so if you ever see a good movie and you think we should go see it, always comment it because we'll go see it. We love having the A-list, it's so worth it. So, so you know, what, what else about us, Peter? Um, what did we say we're from Chicago? We're from Chicago. I was originally born in Florida, but moved to Chicago when I was a little baby. Not too little. And I was born in Evergreen Park. We're from the south side. It's not technically Chicago. It's just like literally next to it. Like at the end of Peter's old block, like it was Chicago. Um, we went to Evergreen Park Community High School. And Peter's 28 and I'm 27. And we have Universal Annual Passes and Disneyland Annual Passes. And we just canceled our SeaWorld Day. And we just canceled SeaWorld. So. <laughs> but we just moved closer to like downtown Orlando, a little further from the theme parks. Um, so that's been fun. To a community called Winter Park. Mm hmm. Super awesome. And it's close to our fertility specialist. We've been trying to have a baby for over four years. That's longer than high school. Yeah. That's dumb. <laughs> It is silly. And um, we actually will be starting prep for our next frozen embryo transfer. If we don't have a playlist for our fertility such fluff and stuff, we do have an Instagram called The Baby Brooker Project. And that has a little bit more information on our background of what we've been through there. So that'll be coming up soon. Like, really soon like, like a week well i'll start medication in like three or four days or something like that mm -hmm. ah! like the shots right away or no no it'll be shots after the, the pills. transfer no shots happen before the transfer but once my lining gets to be a certain fluffiness babies babies we need them we love babies we're gonna have them it's a matter of when not if yeah if you see, like, in so many of our vlogs are, like, nieces and nephews, cousins. Like, we've literally... Strangers in the theme park. Right. <laughs> Friends in the theme park. We've always wanted kids. Like, we talked about kids before we were in dating. When I was little, I would even say, like, I want to be a mom when I grow up. So did I. Still yeah. I want to be a mom when I grow up. <laughs> Moms are amazing, so I don't blame you. Um, so, yeah, that's, like, our number one goal in our whole life. Alrighty, friends, it is totally the next day. We have been just getting in the habit of falling asleep on the couch and waking up at 3 a.m. And I don't know, our couch is super comfy, so I'm not really complaining. Um, Peter just left for work. One little last tidbit about ourselves. Peter does work like a corporate nine to five job as a, um, a data analyst and um, I work from home as a graphic designer. I also edit all the vlogs, do all the social media and whatnot, but I also do freelance design work. Um, so yeah, I'm just home with Eve all day. So I guess that's our last little tidbit. If you guys have any questions about us, specifically that we didn't cover or that you've been curious about, I would be happy to answer in the comments below. Let's do the daily message and then I'll fake sign off for the night. How people treat you is their karma. How you react is yours. Wayne died. Alrighty, I'm sorry if you could hear the washing machine going. Um, 
It did just get a little bit loud, but I'm gonna edit this vlog. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.